So, it's 2022. You just booted up the hit cult classic shooter Team Fortress 2. You sit there, staring at the menu screen. Where do you begin? Hi, I'm Mr. Reap. I've been playing this game for 9 years now, and it's all too common for me to see clueless players who just picked up the game running around expecting this game to be like Call of Duty or something. Today, I'm going to be helping you get started with Team Fortress 2 in 2022. <laughs> You just booted up TF2, and this is what you see. This is the main menu screen. Now, believe it or not, Team Fortress 2 is 15 years old as of 2022, which naturally means that this game is quite dated. Because of this, Team Fortress 2's default settings from 2007 are extremely obsolete, and in order to have an enjoyable experience in-game, we'll need to adjust our FOV. This will turn your game from looking like this, to looking something like this. Simply click on the Options button, then head into Advanced, and then tick this little box here that says Enable Developer Console. Once this is done, hit the tilde key on your keyboard. This is the console. I know this looks scary if you've never seen it before, but please do not panic. In the future, this place will be used to adjust and alter with lots of game settings using a variety of commands. I want you to type these two commands into the console to adjust your FOV. For your convenience, these commands will be available in the description below. To enter a match, simply hit the big green Find Game button, select Casual, and ensure that the core game modes have been selected. From here, you are greeted with a plethora of Team Fortress 2's game modes, with a short description for each one explaining how to play that mode. I strongly encourage you to untick Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag is just not a beginner-friendly mode or environment. If you're interested in knowing more as to why I think this way, there is an Uncle Dane video linked in the description below that perfectly sums this up. Upon loading into a match, you'll be greeted by the 9 classes of Team Fortress 2. Each one of these 9 classes play an important role in the battlefield of Team Fortress 2, as well as each of them having their own unique playstyle and characteristics that sets themselves apart from each other. For example, some classes are better at attacking, some are way better at defending, and some are just, well, pretty balanced on both sides. But this might be quite overwhelming for a beginner player. Which one of these classes should you pick? If you have absolutely zero or very little experience with shooter games, then the Pyro class is your best pick. As the go-to choice for 99% of beginner players, Pyro doesn't take too much skill, but will allow you to get comfortable and learn the game at your own pace. Burn your enemies down with your flamethrower, finish them off with your shotgun secondary, and cut them- Actually, nah. Don't rely too much on the default melee weapons, they suck. Alongside being able to burn enemies with your flamethrower, Pyro can also air blast using right click. This shoots out a big gust of air in exchange for consuming a large amount of ammo. In doing so, Pyro is able to air blast rockets, stickies, and even enemies away from you. This wonderful air blast also has the ability to extinguish teammates that are on fire, so make sure that you're making the most of your right click ability. Just make sure that you're keeping an eye on the amount of ammo that you're consuming. Make sure to be on the lookout for ammo boxes, health packs, and dispensers built by fellow engineers. These will be able to heal yourself and and replenish your ammo. So to summarize, Pyro is a pretty fun class that can serve as a great offensive and defensive class for beginners. He doesn't take too much skill and he'll be able to let you learn the game at your own pace. Not much of a fighter? Not a problem. This crazy German scientist is for you. This is the medic. As the name suggests, He's the Medic. The Medic plays the key role of being the team's support. His primary goal is to heal his teammates and keep everyone alive at all costs. With his primary weapon being very weak, it's best to just ignore it entirely as a beginner and just focus on keeping your teammates alive. Using the Medigun, holding down the left mouse button on your teammate will shoot out your Medi Beam, which will gradually heal your teammates over time. There's no cooldown on this, so go crazy. Over time, as you keep healing your teammates throughout the match, you may notice that this percentage meter is going up. This is your uber charge meter. Once this bad boy reaches 100%, upon right clicking, you will uber charge yourself and the current teammate you are healing. This will make you and the teammate you're healing invincible to all incoming damage for 8 seconds. 
As a medic, it is vital that you are making the most of this uber charge, as this is what's going to allow you and your teammates to make that last minute push, whether that be on offense or defense. Make sure that you're always on the move, sticking close to teammates and keeping aware of classes such as snipers <laughs> or spies that may try and sneak up on you and kill you. Medic is a great beginner friendly class that's more on the safe side. Do your job well and trust me, your team is going to love you. Make sure that you're not too out in the open and make sure that you're staying behind your teammates and making sure that they are alive. Because trust me, as a medic, you're usually what can make or break a game. So get out there and get healing. Do you like explosions? Yes! Do you like the idea of having a medic girlfriend? Oh yeah! Do you like using a rocket launcher to make yourself fly through the sky? Affirmative! Then the soldier class is for you. The soldier is a pretty straightforward offensive class, wielding a rocket launcher, a shotgun, and a shovel. Soldier's rocket launcher is able to output high amounts of damage if used correctly. Because its rocket launcher projectiles rely more on splash damage, the key tip when playing soldier is to aim at the enemy's feet, as well as the ground around them instead of aiming directly at them. This will allow you to damage enemies in a single area, as well as being able to output more damage more effectively. Being the offensive class that Soldier is, you should be aiming to be on the front lines, preferably with a medic by your side. Make sure that you're taking out big groups of enemies with your rockets, as well as making sure to destroy sentry guns with your rocket launcher also. If you ever run out of ammo in your rocket launcher during a fight, then the shotgun is your best friend in finishing them off. In short, the soldier is a high health, high damage outputting, American loving machine that with enough practice is a very good all round choice for a number of different situations and game modes. Focus on taking out groups of enemies and take advantage of that splash damage ability. Get rid of those pesky sentry guns and take charge with the soldier. Unfortunately, Team Fortress 2 in 2022 has a major problem with cheaters. Valve has tried to deal with this issue persistently and has failed pretty horrendously. This is why as a beginner player, you may not have access to basic features until you keep playing the game a bit more. Fortunately, it's relatively easy to deal with these cheaters and send them out of the game. If you ever encounter a cheater in a game, hit escape and look for the small checkbox that says call vote. Upon clicking this, you can select whichever player you would like to kick and call a vote. If enough players in the match vote in favor of kicking the cheater, they will be booted from the match. If this problem keeps persisting though, you'll probably just want to go and find another server to join. Hopefully Valve will get around to fixing this issue sometime, but at the moment it's looking a bit grim, so this is your best option at the moment. <laughs> As you continue playing the game, you may notice that you also begin to unlock new weapons. These are unlockable weapons. These unlockable weapons allow you to play and experience a certain class in a new way, with the majority of these weapons changing the class's playstyle with new mechanics. Now these weapons are not perfect by any means, and each of them have their own pros and cons. So be sure to read those carefully when deciding on which unlockable weapons you want to use. For example, I like to use the Mad Milk unlock unlockable instead of the scout's default pistol, which greatly changes my playstyle as scout. So instead of wielding a pistol, I have a glass of milk. Once you feel comfortable with playing each of the three classes I mentioned earlier, it is definitely worth checking out each of the other six classes. Each of these classes play an important role in the game, so it's really important that you get a good feel for each one and learn how each of them work. If you need help playing a certain class, there are tons of guides on YouTube that will go into depth explaining how to play them effectively. Like my Scout Guy for Beginners video, which you should totally go and check out after this video. And with that, we have basically reached the end of the guide. In this video, I've gone over some of the most basic skills to help you get started with Team Fortress 2 in 2022. I really hope you were able to take away something from this video, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy yourself playing Team Fortress 2. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.